after the mass extinction of the Permian period, the cynodont reptiles, which began the Triassic period, were small, but were very mammal-like. By the middle of the Triassic period, they had evolved into true mammals. And so the Triassic period is significant in the history of mammals because the mammal-like cynodonts, which begin the Triassic period, evolve into the first mammals by the end of this. Uh, the cynodonts were very mammal-like, and the last modifications to become true mammals uh, involved teeth, so that teeth were replaced only once, that there were different kinds of teeth, including incisors, canines, and chewing uh, cheek uh, teeth, and that the teeth of the upper and lower jaws had occlusion. In other words, they had matching surfaces uh, to better allow uh, food uh, processing. The cynodonts had lost their lumbar ribs so that the diaphragm muscle could push out on their guts as uh, they took deep breaths, and thus these early mammals could bring in more oxygen with each breath than their reptilian uh, ancestors. Uh, they had lost the bony bar in the back of the eye socket, so they had lost the post-orbital bar. There had been modifications of the lower jaw, so that the mammalian lower jaw was composed of only one bone, known as the dentary, and some small bones which had been associated with the reptilian lower jaw had been modified uh, to become ear bones to help the early mammals in their ability to hear. And so small cynodont uh, reptiles had become small mammals uh, during the Triassic period.